Hey farm hands, Farmer Reef here. How's everybody doing tonight? So on this episode of uh, the Phoenix 700 Fish Room, we have to design and build the sump for the 700. We're gonna learn um, all the different chambers that they're for, uh, why they're so beneficial, the gear we're gonna put in it. But at the same time, we're designing the one for the 700. Um, I did it right here on the whiteboard behind me and I'm gonna go through all the pieces, the colors, the chambers, what we're gonna put in them. Um, I got my skimmer here on the left side. This one here, this is a, this is a Deltec SC3070. This one here is rated at 4,800 liters or it is uh, 1,268 US gallons. So it's very large, it's perfect for my tank and it's upsized a bit. It's always better to have an upsized uh, skimmer so it can definitely handle all that bio load. It's always, say one up, it's always better. So that's the, the Delta skimmer. We're gonna do a little unboxing, check that all out, but I just wanted to show you that's what that is and that's what we're gonna be using on the 700 and that's the skimmer I picked. So, so the, just to get started here, so this is my drawing. Um, what we're gonna do, you guys can see where my skimmer is right now. I'm gonna have a two-tiered uh, sump. So on the top here, this is my drawing. So it's gonna be a three foot uh, sump that's gonna be up here on the stand by 10 inches high. So this one right here alone is uh, just about a 40 gallon tank that the skimmer's gonna sit in. I want it to sit high, it's easier for cleaning and maintenance and that's the, the section. So what's gonna happen, we'll have the tank up high and then down below, uh, this one here is gonna be a 225 gallon sump. It's gonna run into the next sump below. So it's gonna be a two tiered because if uh, I'm gonna have all my plumbing is gonna come from upstairs. Um, it's gonna come across the ceiling and it's gonna come down in here into a couple bulkheads and drain into the first sump, the 40 gallon sump just to house the skimmer. And then I'm gonna have uh, another uh, two inch pipes into the next set of bulkheads into the 225 uh, gallon sump. So that's what I want to do. I want to have like a, someone, you know, of a cool design. And plus it's going to have, with a, with a skimmer, there's always a certain height that the skimmer is going to run perfectly in. And mine, this one here, it's going to run in about nine inches. There is a, there is a knob on it to adjust the height of the water level in your uh, skimmer. So this is why I went 10 and a half. And I'm going about nine. So I'm always going to have the proper amount of uh, water for my skimmer so it's gonna run even more efficient and that's what it's all about. Because with your skimmer, you're gonna take out you know, uneaten food, waste, any toxins are in the water, any oils, anything like that. That's what the skimmer's gonna do. It's gonna make your water crystal clear. Plus it's great for oxygenating the water, getting all those bubbles moving around and that's what it's all about. Keep your fish and everybody really happy. So that's what we're gonna do. So this is, this, this is where the Delta skimmer is gonna go, right here. That's the plan. I'm not the best drawer in the world, but that's gonna work. So our water's gonna come through the pipes here from the overflow upstairs from the 700 down into this first uh, sump. So this is where it's gonna get all aerated. It's gonna, you know, make a whole bunch of nice skim bait in the Deltec. And then right here, I'm probably either gonna have like three one inch pipes or maybe just two two inch. It's gonna come out. It's gonna flow into my first chamber of my sump here. And this is. Right here, I'm gonna have uh, bulkheads. So they're gonna go into the bulkheads. It's gonna look all nice. And then this is our first chamber. So the water here from the return from the skimmer. And then I'm gonna have four, uh, four inch filter socks that are gonna be into the next chamber. So the water's gonna flow in here. It's gonna come up and these are gonna be the socks. So it's gonna flow over here, flow through the socks. And then this, this section, of uh, this section here of the sump, it's gonna have slits in it. So the water can flow through these slits, just like that. So what's gonna happen in this section here, this is called my bubble trap. So, because there's a lot of, you know, a lot of flow here, a lot of bubbles, and we don't want the, all the bubbles going into our return pump and then back into our main display. It doesn't look good, it's not pleasing to the eye. So the water's gonna flow up here, and then it's gonna flow down into the bubble trap. So these whole bunch of little bubbles, but they can't get up because of this uh, piece is about 20 inches. The bubbles can't get around the next uh, chamber. So what's gonna happen, so the little bubbles are here, the water's just gonna flow all nice, and then back over here. So next, so this, so this chamber here is gonna be where I'm gonna put my return pump. This is gonna be my return pump here. I'll just make a motor symbol. That's the return pump. So the water's gonna flow in here, just like that. So the water's gonna be all nice and calm. And when you're building your sump, all your chambers, try to make sure that they're all the same, the same height. So you'll always have a constant, the uh, same height in your uh, sump. Makes things a lot uh, easier to work with. So now we got our return. Either I'm gonna put my return pump 
internal or external. I'm not sure how I want to do this one yet, but this is going to be my chamber. There's two different ways of doing this, but what we're going to do here, this one over here. So this is my other chamber. It's two feet, right? It's going to be my refugium. I want to grow all different kinds of uh, microalgae in there and all different kinds of like uh, copepods, all different kinds of little bugs that fish and corals like to eat. And that's where it's going to be like a little farm in there. What's going to happen is I'm going to put sand or something in the bottom, at least uh, one inch, one inch of sand in there for all the little uh, live critters to live in, all different kinds of stuff. And then we can have uh, Cheeto, like that, all different kinds of uh, uh, macroalgae in there because uh, copepods and stuff, they like to uh, reproduce in that. And you could put some, some live rock in here too, if you want it, and that gives a spot for the copepods to hide. In this section here, we're gonna call it the, the, the predator free zone. So nothing in there can eat any of the little uh, bugs that's gonna feed our tank. And that's where it can keep reproducing, just like a farm. So what's gonna happen is, so this one's here's 20 inches in this uh, area. So I made this with 22 and we'll just make little slots. So what's gonna happen is the water in this uh, chamber of the refugium is gonna slowly pour over into here. All your little uh, all your little bugs and creatures are gonna go in your return and then back up your main display and it's gonna repopulate up there and feed all your fish and corals as well. So to make this one work, you wanna have a nice uh, flow. You don't want anything too fast because they're just gonna knock everything all over. So what's gonna happen is, so out of, so this is my main coming up here. We could, uh, we could build a header off, just like this. So we can put uh, a header like that, that's going back up to the tank. So this header, we can run reactors off it, just like, so this is the Deltec FR509 fluid reactor. So you can put a couple fluid reactors and hook it on to here. So one pump can feed that reactor as well. So what we can do is we can tap off of this. We can put a, we can put a gate valve there and then pipe in just into the refugium and just turn it on so slightly that there's enough flow and it'll fill up uh, this part of the predator free zone. And you'll just have, uh, you'll just have enough water just flowing over here, nice and gentle at the same time. So this way you're always gonna reproduce in your tank, all these different little bugs and copiopods. That means you, if you want to have some nice, uh, some mandarins in there, and that's all they eat, you so you can keep them alive in your tank. So the other, so the other thing is, I want to have lots of Cheeto. So what it's going to do is going to take away you know your phosphates and nitrates out of your tank naturally. It's a great way to do it. So you put all your mac macroalgae in here, and then what you're going to do is you got to put a you got to put a light over that. So you can hang a light from the ceiling, just like that. And what you can do is that light, you can program it. So when your tank upstairs is on, this one's off. And then when that tank goes off, this one turns on, it's gonna light up that uh, predator free zone refugium. And then it's gonna help with pH shifting as well. It won't be so dramatic on uh, the pH. And this way it just uh, balances out your tank and you don't have that fluctuation, those high uh, peaks of pH and low. And this will help keep uh, things in balance. So that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna put a, say, We'll run an LED over there so we can serve energy as well. And that'll light up the Cheeto and, uh, and keep it alive. It just needs enough light and it'll help uh, naturally filter your tank. And that's what it's all about. So this, this is what I came up with you guys. So it's this, this sump is gonna be a 206 or 225 gallon plus the 40 gallon. So we're looking at 265 gallons of volume of extra water on the 700. By just having that extra water down here, it's so much easier for water changes. Um, less uh, fluctuations in uh, water for your salinity. And then uh, <clears throat> same thing, you're gonna put a, an ATO. I have a oscillator here, the 3155 uh, from Tunzi. This is the one here I'm gonna run on my uh, 700. So every time water evaporates all the time, it's gonna put fresh uh, our water back into my tank. So there's not all that uh, salinity going up and down and stressing the fish and corals out. So that's a good product as well. So this is what I came up with guys. So the tank, my sump is gonna be six feet long. So it's six feet long, 24 inches wide, and it's gonna be uh, 30 inches uh, high. So that's what I'm getting my uh, 265 all together with the 40. And if you ever wanna figure out your volume of water in your sump, 
you just take uh, the length times the width times the height equals your gallons and that will tell you how many gallons you're going to get in your tank. So this is what I came up with um, is my design so now I just got to get it uh, you know just start fabricating it and then get it placed. I just got to build a little bit of a stand off the ground and then put both sumps start doing all the plumbing. So what I did here is pretty cool. Um, so the back and the two sides is going to be a black uh, acrylic and then all my baffles are going to be red with a clear front and then the top is going to be like a nice solid black because we're going with that phoenix black uh, color you know it's on fire so it's gonna be pretty cool I switched it up a little bit and all my plumbing as well is gonna be black and red coming down from the main display I want to make it you know like a nice uh, like a nice display you know pleasing to the eye it's pretty you know cool the place to hang out so this is what I came up with guys so we're gonna have our predator free zone we're gonna have a return pump we're gonna have our, our, our baffles in here so we get rid of all those micro, micro bubbles so they don't get into your display tank we're gonna have four four inch uh, filter socks in this chamber so the water will flow over into the filter socks, filter out any fine little particles into the bubble trap, into the return pump. It's gonna, return pump is gonna feed our header, that's gonna feed reactors, and then it'll slowly feed under our predator free zone, back in the return and feed our tank. So that's how easy this is, guys. And um, that's pretty much it, that's what they're for. So the other thing too, so you're gonna have your you're gonna have your heater, so you can stick your heater in your uh, in your predator-free zone as well, or then buy your pump, whatever you want to do. That's why it's cool with these builds. You can design everything you want. If it's the way you like it, that's what it's all about, right? One of the things that's really good for having your uh, your sump too here in the basement. So, like I said, easier water changes. And say you get a controller, you could always make uh, a little holder as well. You can put a little holder in here. And then we can put our probes, right? We could put like a pH probe, a salinity probe, a temperature probe, you know, run run to a controller that we can, you know, check on our phone, but everything's there. So you have all your probes for uh, salinity, heat, pH, all that good stuff, ORP. And um, it just makes it a nice area neat. So upstairs main display, it'll be nice and quiet. You're not gonna hear any pumps, nothing will be silent if you design everything correctly. And um, is then there's no water upstairs. If you have hardwood, it won't get wet. All kinds of stuff like that. And you don't have to get crouching in under your stand and you have lots of room and uh, to work around your uh, your sump. That's how it works, guys. So that's pretty much what the, a sump is built for. It's just the convenience and uh, housing all your gear. So I hope you guys learned a little bit of information. I hope uh, when the next video comes up, I'm gonna have this all built. We're gonna build the stand and then we're gonna get everything into place and we're gonna start doing all the plumbing. I got a few other things left I got to do. I got to mud the ceilings. I'm a big uh, fan on drywalling, but we'll get there. And um, so, yeah, so we'll have a few unboxing videos coming up soon, guys. We're getting a lot of the gear in. We, um, we got the nice skimmer over there. We got, uh, I got a few more uh, Dell Tech uh, uh, reactors going in as well. We're going to have controllers. I can't wait to show you the return pump that's coming. So there's a lot of stuff going on in this build, guys. It's going to take a little bit of time, but we're getting there. So thanks for tuning in this week. I really appreciate it. If you could please subscribe and hit the like button.